can't see it much here on the video camera. I don't have my, this is my cell phone. There was a tornado right through there. I'm trying to get to where you can see it. Wow. A lot of lightning and thundering back in there. Ooh. On the way home, I saw it. Ooh, lightning bolt. That's a bad little puppy there. Yeah, it's not very well defined. See a little bit of lightning in the background. Looks like the funnel. Hard to show up my finger here. The funnel's right in the center, it appears to be. Right about where that lightning is hitting it. And uh, trees and stuff here are doing some dancing. I pulled off on the side of the road here. Tornado warnings went off and I just happened to look over there and saw it. The radio and the cell phone went off, so we've got it going on. Right. Boy, it's going to be some bad weather tonight. We've got to get home to Wee Wee. Make sure she's safe. I'm at the crossroads here where I normally go to Wee Wee's. This is what they call Ellis Road. And uh, there's another um, uplift there that it's not very, very well defined. You just see light, uh, you can see the sky and stuff underneath it on this side here. But that's not actually a, that's not a tornado there. That's actually an updraft. Uh, one we just saw there definitely was. So, just want to show that to you to compare the two. I got the camera hanging out the window right now. I'm trying to look the feet down the way that that's at. Well, let me get back inside. You may not be able to hear me. That's not a tornado there. That's, that's a low hanging cloud or an updraft. And just trying to show the comparison between the two the first one was definitely a tornado so hopefully that might educate a few people when they misidentify a tornado I used to be a storm chaser back in the day when I was on the fire department was certified and went to class and all this stuff and chased a lot of tornadoes back in the day and, uh, we're heading down the road here uh, we've got a lot of bad stuff coming through they claim so going to keep an eyeball out. This is Amateur Artist Martin D. Chandler once again, Tornado Chaser from Manland. Oh, well, I ain't chasing tornadoes. I'm trying to get the Weeby World. The location of producing a tornado is located near Craig Springs, or 12 miles north of Louisville, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard Tornado. Source Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The dangerous storm will be near Craig Springs around 6, 20 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hawksock around 6, 40 p.m. Central Standard Time. Simpsons around 6, 35 p.m. Central Standard Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Sturgis. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Uh, Y'all can't see this because the camera won't focus, but there's a lot of emergency vehicles down here on a certain road. There's evidently some trees and stuff down. 
So, uh, sorry it's blurry, but the camera won't focus. So low light. Yep, a lot of activity going on here at Manland. Well, Manland Channel. Heading on down the road. Kind of hard to see, but uh, we're just we're recording it as it happens. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bones Yard here, and uh, just got home to Wee Wee World. She's safe, and Bones showed up because he got scared. And uh, your wife, you, 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 yeah, she got rid of care. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, we're talking about the storm, and uh, right now it's quiet. There's no rain. Manland truck's all safe. Everything's going good. But uh, Bone says, I'm going to let him explain it right quick. We uh, had a tornado one, and it was just north of our house. Approximately, the way the crow flies, probably seven miles, maybe, something like that. Something like that, yeah. And then we saw it on radar. On ra I mean, radar indicated, but you know, it, was, uh, it wasn't confirmed, but it was radar. So we were out there shooting the guns and everything, and the pot out. And finally, it come. It started coming through, and I, I seen a dark cloud. And I went out there, look, man. Them cloud kind of looked funny, by the way it looked. So that was like five o'clock, and then like five thirty, we left to come to Manland because I was watching on radar. It, it went from Papa Creek to uh, French Camp, so we had to go through there to get here. I should mm -hmm. be saying that. But anyway, that's all right. But okay, but. And that's about... We hmm. felt like it was safe. And that's like 5.35 when we left the house. So it would have been north east of us. So Mayland said he'd come home and he saw it. I'm like, you can't see it. So he was driving down 43, going around the curve to the left, to the right. So he, depending on what curve he goes around, you know, what's to his right, he thought was Ethel, but it really ain't. It's kind of north. Yep. But he actually saw the tornado and got it on film. Yep. Sure did. So there it is. Uh, it's it's weird. You know, it'd be nice if your cell phone was showing a GPS location while you're trying to film to show everybody what's going on. Uh, but uh, like I say, emergency vehicles. At what, what's the name? What's the name of that road? The crossroad of the church. Uh, four thirteen. All right. Uh, that's when I showed y'all the the very poor footage of the emergency vehicles where trees were all down. Uh, and, 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 and I think that, that personally, in my opinion, is just a coincidence from some high winds, not the actual tornado. Because the, the path of it, there was no path. It was just a tree. Yeah. Because I came from my house to that point, and then up to here, there was nothing but just, you know, a lot of pine straw in the road. But now you just said that uh, that, uh, uh, that was on the news. Yes, that was on the news. So the so the footage I shot, which is very poor footage, was on the news, and I didn't know about it. Yes. Oh wow. And that was right at six o'clock. Oh, uh, what was it? Six o'clock. When we got the uh, alarm again. Yeah, because I got two of them. I got two of about like ten minutes apart. And I got two. Twelve, fifteen minutes apart. Two or three, I can't remember now. Two or three on the radio. I was listening to PRM, and the daggum weather alert radio was going off, and. They was talking about Starville, and I was like, "Wait a minute! Yeah, why y'all talking about this? We got this going on right here so locally." And yeah, that was that was actually Starville. <laughs> so anyway, amateur Marty Channel once again from Mainland. We all safe, everything good, uh, but the night's not over yet. Hmm. We gotta get past these hamburgers. The oh yeah, Bones gonna put some tornado burgers on the grill. The junkyard bushcraft grill. That's what I'm screaming. Y'all take it easy. Take them here. This is the end of the cell phone video.